Continuing with our discussion on electric charge and electric field, let's take a look at the concept of electric field. In the previous video, we talked about how electric charges are able to interact with each other, whether it's attraction or repulsion interaction. You have two charges separated by distance R and they interact with each other with the electrostatic force. The charges are able to interact with each other despite the distance between them because of their electric fields. Each charge produces an electric field in the surrounding space. And it is the electric field that applies the electrostatic force. So the charges, the charge produces an electric field in the surrounding space. And as long as the other charge is inside that electric field, the charge is able to apply force on the other charge. It's because again, it is the electric field that technically applies the electrostatic force. By convention, the electric field is directed away from positive charge and directed towards positive charge, which gives us the direction of the electric field produced by a single charge. You have a positive charge, the electric field, in the surrounding space produced by this charge, electric field variable, capital E, Electric field E is directed away from the positive charge. And if the charge is negative, the electric field it produces in the surrounding space is heading towards the negative charge. Consider a positive charge Q. Positive charge Q, the electric field E that it will produce in the surrounding space will be heading away from charge Q, away from positive charge. Place another positive charge Q naught inside the electric field produced by Q. Positive, positive, the interaction will be repulsion, meaning Q naught will be pushed away from Q with electrostatic force F. The electric field produced by Q will apply force F on Q naught. The electric field and the force that it produces or applies, the relationship between the two is given by E is equal to F over Q naught. The electric field produced by Q will apply force F on Q naught. And from the figure, since the electric field E is heading away from Q, positive charge, the figure tells us that E and the force that it applies have the same direction. And that is confirmed by this equation. E is equal to F over Q naught as long as Q naught is positive. E and F will have the same direction. E is again the electric field produced by charge Q. Unit is force over charge, Newton divided by Coulomb. The unit for the electric field is Newton per Coulomb. And again, F is electrostatic force. Electrostatic force between Q and Q naught. Electrostatic force applied by electric field E on charge Q naught. If Q is negative, this equation, if Q naught rather, sorry about that, if Q naught rather is negative, E is equal to F over Q naught tells us that E and F will have opposite direction. 
if q0 is negative. Getting the magnitude of E, magnitude of E is equal to magnitude of F divided by absolute value of Q0. We have to put Q0 inside an absolute value because Q0 may be positive or it may be negative. Magnitude is always positive, so we have to put Q0 inside the absolute value. Magnitude of the electric field E is equal to F over Q0. The electric field produced by a single charge Q is given by E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R squared. The electric field produced by a single charge Q. In particular, E is electric field magnitude produced by a single charge Q at a point a distance R from Q. So R is the distance of the point that we are looking at from the charge. The electric field magnitude at a point a distance R from charge Q. E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R squared. This equation may be derived using Coulomb's law. F is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught over R squared. Combining this equation with E is equal to F over Q naught, we are able to derive the equation for the electric field magnitude. Magnitude of the electric field for the direction of the electric field produced by a single charge use the convention that we mentioned before. For a positive charge, the electric field is directed away from the positive charge. And for a negative charge, the electric field is directed towards the negative charge. If there are several electric fields at a given location or point, these electric fields will add up, giving us E net, the net electric field at the location. E net is summation of the individual electric fields at that location. E1 plus E2, plus E3, and so on. Note that this is a vector equation, so please be sure to use your component method when evaluating this equation. Just like the electrostatic force, electric field is a vector quantity. Electric static force, electric field, both are vector quantities, so be sure to use component method when doing analysis of the electrostatic force and the electric field. For a more complete picture of the electric field, you might want to look into the following. The electric field of an electric dipole and the electric field of a uniform charge distribution. Uniform charge distribution, instead of single charges, you have a collection of charges. A collection of charges forming a line or shape. You might want to consider these two as reading assignment. And that's it for now. That's it for our discussion on the electric field. We'll continue our discussion on electric charge and electric field in the next video. In the next video, we'll take a look at a few examples. So again, that's it for now. And thank you for watching.